Okay guys, let's talk about another deck that I've finished. This is a championship level deck, of course. All of the decks here on this channel are championship level decks. And that basically means that we've played the Trial of Planes and we went all the way around twice, which gets you, of course, all of the rewards that you can win. And we went all the way around twice without losing any battles. Okay, so that's uh, it's a good standard. If you wanna try to make your own championship level deck, you'll see it's, uh, it's quite a difficult task. But anyway, this deck has completed the trial of planes. It's definitely a championship level deck. It uses uh, a couple of different features I'll show you in a minute. This deck, of course, is called the Hidden Werewolf City. The point of this deck is to use the Huntmaster of the Fells in conjunction with the Lambholt Elder. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna have a ton of mana being generated through this kind of a combo, and you'll see how exactly later. And the whole point is to get as many wolves as you can to help you to kinda continue to gain mana and just do massive amounts of damage. All right, so this is how we do it. Here's the uh, Huntmaster of the Fells, one of the important cards here. It says Daybound. When this creature enters the battlefield or transforms, create X wolf tokens. Gain X life. X is this creature's power. So obviously, this deck is going to try to revolve around this card. And really what it is, is we're going to try to make this creature as powerful as possible. And the more we boost up its power, we know that it's going to give you more life. And it's going to give you more wolves every time it transforms to this or enters the battle show you what the backside here says. The backside's equally important. It says, Nightbound, when this creature enters the battlefield or transforms, deal X damage to each opposing target. Each opposing support loses X shield. X is number of wolf and werewolf creatures you control without, oh, it, sorry, with their reinforcements. So that's kind of important. This one will help keep creatures off the field. It'll help keep the supports from your enemy off the field. And it's just one of those that we absolutely need to have. All right, so here's one that goes really nicely in this kind of a situation with, with this combo here. The Lambholt Elder. Lambholt Elder says, Daybound, at the beginning of your turn, convert X gems to green. X is the number of creature cards you control, including their reinforcements. So you can see there's a, there's a common thread here, right? We'll be converting gems to green. The amount of gems is how many creatures you have, plus the reinforcements. And this will help you to create creatures, lots and lots of those wolves, and uh, they'll be reinforced, of course. So you'll gain life, you'll gain mana, you'll be able to damage your opponent, you know, basically all the things you need in order to win. The backside of this is kind of important as well. It helps with the gem conversion and it helps to uh, help you to put on a real, real big creature on the board. The Silver Pelt Wolf. Nightbound, at the beginning of your turn, this creature gets XX. X is the number of green gems, up to six. When this creature deals combat damage to your opponent's planeswalker, draw a card. So good stuff here. This creature, you'll notice it will buff itself kinda, kinda quickly. I wanna also add, there's some really good stuff here, the Celestis. This is a good card to help you control day or night. We wanna use this because as we talked about, when it flips, when this card here flips to the daybound side, it's gonna put down the load of tokens. So you wanna make sure that you can try to flip as much as you can, all right? And then the Celestis helps you to do that. We wanna make sure we can build this uh, Huntmaster of the Fells as, as strong as possible. So we like Witch's Web that gives, let me read it to you, it gives you Reach, Death Touch, and 5-5. Five, five. So that's really good. Also for defensive purposes, you can use this. Helm of the Gods is also good. You get First Strike in 3-3. This is also something that you can use for defense. What you'll notice is if you go with the Witch's Web and the Helm of the Gods, you put those two together, what they'll have is Reach, Death Touch, and First Strike, which basically kills a ton of creatures. Pretty much anything that attacks you that doesn't have uh, prevent damage, that kind of thing, it will be destroyed. So a lot of normal creatures that you'll see. Anyway, let's get down to the, the game. I'll show you guys some of the, the footage here. Hopefully we'll get to see how the combo works. 
with this gameplay here, I'm hoping to show you guys the combo. You guys can take a look at how the werewolves are generated. I'm really hoping that we're going to get a ton of werewolves. Uh, and you'll be able to see how how really awesome this deck is. I'm hoping also the Huntmaster or the Fells does a ton of damage to kill the opponent's creatures. You know, but we'll just see what we get. Started off with a good hand here. Lambhold Elder does help. That's the one that allows us to, of course, convert mana into our hand or into the onto the board. That's the real big thing with this deck. All right, it looks like we got a match five that's available to us. That's usually really good. We want to play the match five here. Oh, let's see, we got an even bigger match there. And the reason, of course, we play the match five is because it allows us to have an extra swap. We will have two extra swaps because of those blue gems. That's pretty nice. At this point, we got only one card in the hand. The Riveter's Charm, you can read it over here. I don't really need this card right now. The, uh, the thing that I would do in this situation is this, just because I want to make sure I'm able to use those abilities. So we'll try to match some loyalty gems and get the abilities powered up and we'll see what happens there. Celestis, yes please. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to aggressively draw cards so that I can get that Huntmaster of the Fells into play. And once that's gone, uh, you, once that's on the board, you'll be able to see pretty much exactly how awesome that card is. Let me see if that... Okay, we've got another Celestis. We'll go with this. We're hoping to get that Huntmaster of the Fells, which we do have here. And you know what? We want to pump up the Huntmaster of the Fells, so we'll just draw all of these cards. Not going to be able to have enough room in the hand, but that's fine. All right. I'm trying to make room in the hand. Uh, we'll scoot this down. Okay, this looks good. Huntmaster of the Fells is inbound pretty soon. There we are. Where are we going to put the wolf? Right there. So we're going to make a couple of wolves here just because her power is only two. And as I mentioned, with this deck, what we really want to do is just buff that card and just make it as strong as possible. And the hope, of course, is that it's going to be able to give us a ton of, of wolf tokens. Okay, I'm looking around. It looks like I'm going to try to do this because maybe we'll get an ability here or we'll get the ability to match greens next turn. All right, so this will give 3-3 three, three and First Strike. First Strike is important because we can pair this uh, this First Strike ability with the other card that we have, the Witch's Web. Witch's Web, of course, will give Death Touch and Reach. And Death Touch, Reach, and First Strike pretty much kills everything that it comes across. So we'll see if we can get that going. The main thing there is the 3-3 three, three, though, because with that 3-3 three, three, we're going to be able to put a lot of creatures on the on the board. We're going to be able to put a ton of those wolves. It looks like we're going to have a full, uh, well everything in the hand will be paid off, no thank you. Nope. So those are normally good cards, the, um, the elemental token that just popped up, but I'm going to go with no on that just because I, I kind of have to keep the wolves in play here. Here's a, a good ability, it's that second ability. What it's going to allow me to do is buff this creature even stronger. I'll read it to you here, it says hosting gems, target creature you control gets XX, X is equal to the amount of green gems on the board up to 10. Uh, then Coven convert two to green. That second part is not super important, but the important part is that XX buff, and that's what we have here, the XX buff. Now what I'm gonna do is arrange the hand like that. This card here will give Ley Line, so I'm thinking maybe next turn that's gonna come into play. I'm going to be able to put down another Huntmaster of the Fells, and what that's going to do is it's going to use these things here again, because it's coming into play, right? So it says, when this creature enters the battlefield, which it will, you create X wolf tokens, 
X is this creature's power. We also gain X life, so that's cool. All right, let's take a look. We'll go like this. No, thank you. And go here. All right, so you'll be able to see what the wolves look like as you are able to put more and more and more. And you can kind of see, hopefully in the next turn, the great impact that this will have. You see a lot of wolves come down. Hopefully you'll see a lot of damage just heading on over to the enemy creatures. I'm hoping uh, they don't do anything crazy and we'll be able to convert a ton of gems just like that. Pays off basically everything in your hand at that point. These elemental tokens are nice, but I mean, I, I don't really need them. I have the wolves and the wolves are more important. There's a nice move there. It's the flip over because of the Celestis. The Celestis will change night to day, day to night, that kind of thing. And that will also transform my my um, werewolves. And you can see over here, when he transformed, it says when this creature enters the battlefield or transformed, which it did, deal X damage to each opposing target. And um, of course, X is the number of wolves, werewolves that you control, including the reinforcements. That's why you saw this creature do damage to the first creature that the opponent had, and then it killed it. And then you also did damage to the opponent's planeswalker, which of course dropped into six. Let's take a look. Okay, Huntmaster of the Fells. When that one plays again, it will come out in this Ravager of the Fells side. And that's going to finish the game for us because, as we mentioned, it does X damage to each opposing target. That includes the Planeswalker. So he only can take six. He won't be able to take six. And this will win the game for us. I hope you guys can see why this is kind of a really, really nice deck to try to build out. It's a really strong deck. It, it has a lot of creatures that... Oh, look at that. It has a lot of creatures that can be built really quickly. And of course, I'm referring to those wolf tokens. You'll see here um, that it's going to be able to do that. Gee, I thought it was going to just hit him with the uh, direct damage, but the Celeste has flipped him over, it looks like. So that's cool. We'll win anyway. The, um, the good part about this deck, as you can see, it's got some good creature control. It does a lot of damage to the enemy creatures. It helps you keep them off the board. That's one of the things with green. Green doesn't do a ton of immediate like removal. Like black will, you know, select target creature and you can destroy that creature. You don't have a ton of that with green. So you'll see a lot of the, you know, deal damage. X damage is, uh, is how much your power your creature is. That kind of thing. That's a lot of times how you're going to have to destroy creatures when you play green. So yeah, Hunter Ma Hunt Master of the Fells does a great job of killing those off. All right, do I want to stop the loop? I'll just go with yes, so that we can see the end of this here. Put the uh, opponent out of their misery. Anyway, we hope you like the video. Hit that like and subscribe. That helps the channel so much. If you have comments, please put the comments in the section below. You know, this is a place where we want to have everybody helping everybody, right? So put the comments read everybody else's comments uh, i'm hoping that we get a lot of stuff together where we can just just take a look hey you know what i don't have this card maybe i'll use this card and um you know you write that in the comments that's going to help somebody else yeah so just do your best and um you know we hope you enjoy the game hope you enjoy the video